Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the do's and the don'ts of how to apply liquid eyeliner. Now, I do want you to take into consideration that these are my own personal opinions and how I feel the best way for you to apply liquid eyeliner may not be what someone else thinks. So everyone has their own opinion and that's the beauty of makeup. You can really express yourself in so many ways. So if by chance you do do some of the things that I am saying not to do, that's okay. I don't stop doing them if that's the way you love to do your makeup then continue on and live your life and express yourself I'm just giving my own personal recommendations on how I feel liquid eyeliner can really enhance your beauty without aging your skin aging your looks or dragging down or pulling down the eye which I have seen many many times I've seen a lot of techniques where I feel like if I could just recommend a tiny little change to how they're applying their liquid eyeliner, it would make a huge difference in their overall look. So that's why I'm excited to make this tutorial for you to give you my own personal opinion on how I feel you should be applying liquid eyeliner. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this tutorial with the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. I love this liquid eyeliner. I go with the Trooper, which is the black shade. It really comes down to the product that you're using. And with the Kat Von D, liquid eyeliner if you can see that amazing thin tip it's a felt tip but it's so thin and that's really going to help you when you want to get that thin beautiful natural line now when you're thinking about liquid eyeliner the best way to think about this is that you basically want to enhance your own lash line and you want it to really flow and not take away from your eyelid so you don't want to put too much on that your eyelashes completely disappear because you can't see past the liner and then you also want to make sure that you're doing it in a way that's lifting your eye and not dragging down your eye. So on this side I'm going to show you how I personally apply liquid eyeliner. For my eye shape I do take the liner in to the center of my inner eye and the reason why I do this personally is because I have wide set eyes. So this is a technique that I use to really bring my eyes closer together. I'm taking this and I'm laying this horizontally along my lash line and I'm literally dragging this onto my lash line as close as possible all the way across my lashes. And this is really how you're going to achieve a very thin line of liquid liner. And what this does is it really brings all of the lashes together and it really thickens that lash line if you don't have a ton of lashes, this is a great trick for you to really make your lashes appear thicker. Now you can probably already see the difference between this, this lash line and this lash line where this one just looks thicker, it looks more dramatic, yet the line is thin enough that my lashes still go up above onto my eyelid and they're not hidden behind the eyeliner. So I'm going to continue this all the way over on, all the way to the end still dragging this horizontally all the way to the end of my lashes. Now once I get to the end of my lashes, this is where it's very important that you know exactly the angle. So what you want to do is you want to tilt your head and you want to go naturally with where the, la the lash line goes and your eye line goes so you don't want to go too far down and you don't want to go too far up where it looks unnatural so you want to basically go along with where your natural eye line would follow and we're just going to extend this out like it's a natural lash Now what I like to do after I get the little flick on to my end of my eye, I like to take this and connect it to the bottom lashes. So you can see that little space between. I like to connect that to my bottom lash line and I will take this about halfway onto my eye. I'm really taking this in between my lashes so that completes the do side as you can see where I have basically created a natural beautiful line that goes with my lashes 
and I have taken this down onto my bottom lash line just only halfway, not all the way in, closing off my eye. And this will really connect that line together and give you that nice beautiful flow for liquid eyeliner. Now moving on to the don't side, which I have seen these techniques, so I'm showing you things that are literally done on real people, I'm not making this up, and this is what I would just, if you are doing these techniques, I would reconsider and just try maybe one or two days this way and see if you receive compliments. See if you feel different when you look at yourself through the mirror. Um, maybe you like how this looks on your face, maybe you don't, but you really never know until you give it a try. So I'm going to demonstrate the don'ts on this side. Now what I typically see with liquid eyeliner could possibly have to do with either the experience level or maybe the product that, you, that they're using. So maybe the wand isn't giving you that nice beautiful tip. So it's really important that you are paying attention to your product. Maybe it's not the operator, maybe it's the product. And if you can't really get that beautiful thin line, you might want to consider switching up the liquid eyeliner product that you're using. So typically what I've seen with liquid eyeliner don'ts is the liner will start and just go really high onto the lid. And it will come I'm even, I'm being like really fair. I'm doing this really fair. I'm not trying to be sloppy, but I'm taking this up to where I've seen people just take the liquid eyeliner. Okay, so there's the first don't. So I have seen many people put the liner so thick onto their top line that your lashes literally disappear. And as you can see, hopefully you can see from the demonstration that my lashes over here looks, they, you can still see them. They still go up onto my lid, over my lid, but here they kind of get lost in this liquid eyeliner. So this is the first uh, no-no that I would say try to keep that line really thin and in the lashes really next to that lash line will really help to give you that enhanced lash line without taking away from your eye and making it look smaller. The next don't that I have seen is with the end of the liner, continue the line down from their eye where it just comes a little bit too long for their, for their line. So what this does is it's going to drag the eye down. It's almost like you're sad, I feel like, and it just changes the complete shape of the face. You have this beautiful lash line that just makes the lashes look like they naturally go this way. And then you have this unnatural angle where the liner just kind of drags the eye down a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what the goal is with this when I've seen this, but um, yeah. I'm going to continue. The next don't is I have seen from this look, people have literally taken the liner and made it very thick on the end where it's kind of like a, a wing, but it's like a really big wing. <laughs> it's like a an eagle wing <laughs> and they connect it to the bottom. And I've seen people take this bottom all the way across to the inner bottom waterline. And then 
and the juice. Really, what I feel like is happening here is this is making the eye look smaller, it's dragging the eye down, it's taking away from the natural beauty of your eye shape. It's not adding a nice feminine beautiful touch to your makeup, it's really overbearing and I feel like it's taking away from that subtle, beautiful look that you can really achieve with a liquid eyeliner. So I hope this was a great demonstration for you and I hope you learned a thing or two. If you do have any questions in the eyeliner world, leave a comment below for me and I will be sure to get back to you and let you know if I have any input on your questions. Thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel so that you can see more videos like this and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I'm releasing new videos on my channel. Thank you so much for your support and have a beautiful day.